key to generational wealth is generational thinking. Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and you guys probably know that I am on a quest to convert my DOD pension and my VA disability into a lasting legacy. N not just for my kids, but I'm talking about a multi-generational legacy. And there is one experience I had in college that I think is key to all of this. One day, my buddy and I went to this water park. And the way this place worked was you paid $10 to rent an inner tube. And then at the end of the day, when you returned the inner tube, they gave you $5 back. Well, when we were ready to leave, there was this long line of people still waiting to rent inner tubes. So I gave my inner tube to a guy for eight bucks. Instead of a $5 refund, I got $8. And at the end of the day, that guy got $5 back. So the net cost of his rental was only $3. It's like everybody's winning. This plagued my buddy the whole way home. He was like, somebody had to lose. You can't put less money into the system and have more. So who lost? Well, the water park lost. Instead of renting the same inner tube twice for $5 profit both times, they only rented it once for $5. You see, there is a particular kind of financial waste that doesn't look like waste until you view it from a multi-generational perspective. And the dead giveaway for these situations seems to be any time you and your family rent, or borrow, or pay a transaction fee, all of those associated fees eat away at the collective net worth of your legacy. But it's not just that the fee exists. It has to do with the timing of the fee. Let's go back to that water park story about the inner tube. Do you notice that I was able to pull that trick because I was leaving when a lot of other people were just arriving? That's why this story seems to tell me something about multi-generational wealth. Let me give you an idea of what I'm thinking. You got a kid going to college? Well, one way or another, you are going to pay housing costs for that child. But you could purchase a property instead. I mean, you got a guaranteed tenant for four years, and then you can decide what you're going to do with the place. Too big? Well, how about this? Do you have a kid who's paying interest charges on a credit card? You could keep their balance at zero and have them repay you with interest. What about a car loan? My point is, any time that you and your family can build synergy that boosts the, the long-term value of your collective assets, that's worth looking into. Do you have ideas? I would love to hear them. And in the meantime, watch this video about why it is so difficult for transitioning service members to find good financial advice.